Good morning, I'm Daily Bible Reading. I'm going to read today from Exodus chapter 25. Moses is up on the mountain of the Lord. There are thunderings and shakings and smoke and fire. The, uh, the priests and elders have come and worshipped afar. Joshua has been brought a little way further towards the meeting with the Almighty, but Moses has been uh, told to come on his own and God is giving him instructions as to how Israel should worship. This chapter contains the detailed instructions donated by God to Moses and through him to the children of Israel for the construction of the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is the item in which God symbolically dwells among his people. It is a, a physical representation of God's physical presence among his people. And uh, the instructions are very detailed. Later on, we have instructions as to how the ark should be handled in a very careful and a very uh, highly ritualized and stylized way so that God can be treated with appropriate respect. This isn't an idol. It's not something to be worshipped. It is a symbol. It's a symbol uh, very much uh, in some ways like the cross is a symbol of Christ's sacrifice, even though the cross itself is just a physical object made of wood. It represents or symbolizes the intimate involvement of God in the affairs of human beings, in particular the way in which his plan of salvation bore fruit at the cross when Jesus Christ sacrificed himself in the place of his people and made possible the salvation not just of us in the New Testament era, but of them in the Old Testament era, all these things that God is donating to these people are intended to allow them to worship him and to obey him, to obey him through an act of will, doing things that he commanded. But they have no power in themselves, the power of salvation for any human being who is chosen by God and saved comes through the death and life of, of Jesus Christ through his sacrifice in our place. So the Ark of the Covenant, a very important thing uh, to the Old Testament church. These are the description given by God to Moses for its construction. This is God's word, Exodus 25. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they bring me an offering. Of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take my offering. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and badger skins, and shittim wood, oil for the light, spices for anointing oil, and for sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in the ephod, and in the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, according to all that I show ye, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. And they shall make an ark of shittim root, two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half of the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold within and without shalt thou overlay it, and shalt make upon it a crown of gold round about. And thou shalt cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners thereof, and two rings shall be in one side of it, and two rings in the other side of it. And thou shalt make staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And they shall put the staves into the rings by the side of the ark, that the ark may be born with them. The staves shall be in the ring of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. And they shall put the, in the, into the ark the testimony that I shall give thee. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold, of beaten work shalt thou make them in the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherub on the one end, and the other cherub on the other end, even of the mercy seat, shall you make the cherubim on the two ends that are off. And the cherubims shall stretch forth their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings. And their faces shall look one to another, toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. And they shall put the mercy seat above and upon the ark, and in the ark they shall put the testimony that I shall give thee. And there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim, which are upon the ark of the testimony, of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. 
Thou shalt also make a table of shittim wood, two cubits shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, and make thereto a crown of gold round about. And thou shalt make unto it a border of an hand breadth round about. And thou shalt make a golden crown to the border thereof round about. And thou shalt take for it, make for it four rings of gold, and put the rings in the four corners that are on the four feet thereof. Over against the border shall the rings be for places of the staves to bear the table. And thou shalt make the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold, that the table may be borne with them. And thou shalt make the dishes thereof, and spoons thereof, and covers thereof, and bowls thereof, to cover with all. Of pure gold shalt thou make them. And thou shalt set upon the table showbread before me alway. And thou shalt make a candlestick of pure gold. Of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. His shaft and his branches, his bowls, his knops and his flowers shall be of the same. And six branches shall come out of the sides of it, three branches of the candlestick out of the one side, and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side. Three bowls make like, made like unto almonds, with a knop and a flower on one branch, and three bowls made like almonds in the other branch with a knop and flower, so the six branches that come out of the candlestick. And in the candlestick shall be four bowls made like unto almonds with their knops and their flowers. And there shall be a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, according to the six branches that proceed out of the candlestick. Their knops and their branches shall be of the same. All of it shall be one beaten work of pure gold. And thou shalt make the seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light over against it. And the tongs thereof, and the snuff dishes thereof, shall be of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold shall he make it, with all these vessels. And look that thou make them after their pattern, which was shown thee in the mount. And we pray God's blessing on this reading from his perfect word.